Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In this session uh, We will uh, prepare a Cash flow statement for the year Ended 31st December 2017 uh, And also We will discuss The financial ratio And compute and comment Okay, let's begin for Cash flow statement So, in this uh, Question, we already know That uh, the working is A uh, Alif and Aurora. So when we calculate Aurora uh, amount, so they, you will get uh, 2,500 multiplied by 12. You get the take home pay for Ali is 30,000. So take home pay for Aurora is 28,800. So I, I, I would love to have working uh, here uh, and instead of directly is uh, transfer because. Uh, we can check it again and again Okay, when we total it For Alif We will get uh, And Aurora We will get 58,800 uh, For total take home pays Alif family So, because Alif family okay, We need to prepare for Alif and Aurora Alright So, we already recognize the balance sheet item So, uh, we also recognize the uh, income so now we already also recognize the expenses so this is the list that we have been uh, go through for in the video one in video part one so you can see that house rental car installment I more detail on video two so child nursery transportation court groceries higher expense okay in this item most of uh, most of the item is you need to multiply by 12 okay so you need to be careful because sometimes you you have the you unintentionally to record the month itself okay this one you can refer in video 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 2 okay all right so when you calculate calculate by multiply 12 you get all expenses you will get uh, this one and then you total all expenses so you will get total expenses is 59,785 ringgit so in cash flow statement what do you uh, focus is whether this family contribute to saving or disaving so we will how to calculate all right uh, income income minus expenses okay so you will get okay this is negative okay then when we negative is a contribution to the saving okay if we positive then this is say saving all right so this is contribution to the saving okay so now you already get how much okay this is you get 10 marks okay now we proceed for the last part okay in this uh, tutorial video so you need to calculate the liquid asset and take home pay okay i use the same template uh, because in order you can still remember the formula but uh, liquid asset to take home pay okay the liquid asset is item in balance sheet so it's 3500 and then the take home pay total okay total for both is a uh, uh, and then we divide both item you will get 6% okay this 6% you can also note in months so uh, you calculate this item and then you will get 7.2 months 7.2 months is uh, okay it's less than one month all right so you will get okay 7.2 months is less than months okay and then uh how we need to comment okay when we comment in this uh ratio so 
we need to know the rule of thumb the rule of thumb is the ideal should be 25 percent or 3 to 6 percent is far below uh, than uh, less than three months is very very far below so it have a problem in term of the liquidity uh, uh, asset liquidity issues okay then this question okay require you to compute debt ratio okay this is item from balance sheet 133885 total liability is uh, current liability plus long term liability so the total asset is plus total uh, liquid asset lifestyle asset and investment asset you will get 123350 and then you will see wow the ratio is 1 0.8.51% is more than 1% you can see this is have a level high level of debt okay so it's too high okay it's too high and it's very difficult to get a new loans in future okay this is because the ratio is should be no more than 30% so in order to apply for uh we back to because they they want to buy the house so how how they want to buy the house because they cannot get any loan so they need to settle it before they uh they before they apply for the loan all right so i hope i already cover step by step in video part one part two for the uh installment loan for car and part three is how to do a balance sheet and part four is uh how to produce a cash flow statement and also a financial ratio so you already um uh answers uh part a b and c and so based on this and based the uh based on the uh based on the cash flow statement and also based on balance sheet so you can do part for i think um, that's all uh, thank you for listening and thank you for uh, so thank you for watching i hope uh, if you have uh, any comment or any question please put down uh, your comment below all right thank you so much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh